Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're performing a shave excision procedure for a common precancerous skin condition called actinic keratosis, sometimes known as solar keratosis. These small, rough patches develop after years of sun exposure and can sometimes progress into skin cancer if left untreated. So early diagnosis and removal are important. Actinic keratoses often appear as dry, scaly, or crusty lesions on areas exposed to the sun, like the face, ears, hands, or scalp. They can be pink, red, or skin-colored. And while most are harmless, dermatologists often recommend removing them to prevent progression into squamous cell carcinoma. So today we are going to be doing a shave excision of a couple of lesions on the back side of the left hand. And uh, the reason why we are removing it via shave excision is because I have a suspicion it might be actinic keratosis, which is precancerous lesion. It could be something just like eczema, but that, that is my differential diagnosis. But because of the history, because of the excessive sun exposure in the past, and the fact that it doesn't go away, my suspicion is it might be actinic keratosis. The way we are going to do this is uh, we're going to apply some local anesthesia and then shave just the superficial layer. Actinic keratosis are very superficial precancerous skin lesions and it can be easily treated with uh, either shave excision or cryotherapy. But because we want to have a, a certain diagnosis, we are going to go ahead with the shave excision so that we can find out what it is, okay? So here comes the poke. Sorry, it's going to burn and sting. A little bit. Yeah, sting a bit, sorry. That's okay. A small amount of local anesthetic is injected to numb the area, so the patient feels minimal to no pain during the procedure. And then here's the second one as well. We'll send both of these away. Poke. Do you feel anything? No. Good. The shave excision is performed using a sterile surgical blade. We carefully remove the raised, rough portion of the lesion just at the surface level without cutting deeply into the skin. This technique allows for complete removal of the damaged tissue while preserving healthy skin underneath. The second one. After the lesion is removed, we apply a mild cautery or hemostatic agent to control any minor bleeding. An ambiotic ointment is applied to promote healing, followed by a small dressing or bandage to protect the site. Okay, so we are going to apply some polysporin and a band-aid on these. Okay. okay. And they should heal within three to four weeks, okay? There will be scab formation on it and then scab will fall off and you will have a normal skin on top of it. Sun protection is key to preventing new lesions from forming, so always wear sunscreen and schedule regular skin checks. 
If you've noticed rough or scaly patches that don't heal, don't ignore them. They could be early signs of actinic keratosis. 